Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. Here's Rick. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. Boy, that sure smells good. Thank you. The boy's coming? Uh, yeah, they'll be right down. Uh, can I give you a hand here? Yeah, you want to take these in? Okay. Careful now. I think I can handle it. You fixing breakfast this morning, Pop? Well, your mother's helping me. How am I doing? Well, I'm not bad. Keep up the good work. Well, we might be a little late for dinner tonight. We have a fraternity meeting. Can I expect you for dinner or not? Well, let's put it this way. What are we having? Watercress sandwiches. It's going to take a little longer than we thought. Uh, what's the meeting all about? Uh, gee, I don't know. Do you know, Dave? Yeah, we're planning a party before Christmas vacation starts. Oh, I always thought your Christmas vacation was a series of parties. Oh, come on now, Mom. It's not as bad as all that. Yeah, uh, this year, how about planning to spend one or two evenings with the old folks, huh? Old folks? What old, what old yeah, folks? Yeah, what old folks? <laughs> I, I was referring to your old father and your young mother. <laughs> Well, naturally, we'll be around to pick up our presents. Well, uh, thanks a lot. But, uh, you might set aside Christmas Eve. I'm getting tired of short-circuiting those lights every year. Well, don't worry, Bob. We'll be around. Oh, sure. Maybe two or three nights. Well, uh, any spare time you guys can give us will be deeply appreciated. It's not that we don't want you guys to have a good time. It's just that we don't want you to ignore us completely during the holidays. Oh, don't worry, Mom. Well, Mom, we'll be late. Good night, Mom. Bye, dear. Good night, Mom. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I forgot to kiss you goodbye. <laughs> How many cards do you want? I'll take three. One. I think I got you this time. Come on, you guys, let's get this meeting started. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Wally, let's go. Okay. The meeting, please come to order. The meeting, please come to order. Hey, just a second. Come on, you guys, break up the card game. A full house? Well, let's get the meeting started. Come on, Wally. Come on, let's get going. What are we having a meeting for anyway? Can't we have a party without making a big deal out of it? Well, we always have a meeting before we have a party. Well, the thing is, it's Christmas, and we ought to plan something in keeping with the holiday spirit. Uh, what about a luau? At Christmas? Well, sure, we could wear red lays and green hula skirts. <laughs> Any other suggestions? <laughs> uh, what about you, Rick? This is the first full house I've had in weeks. <laughs> Come on, fellas, we've got a lot of important business here. Uh, how does this sound, you guys? Instead of having just the usual dance, maybe we could sing Christmas carols or something. Christmas carols? Sure, you know. You gather around the piano, put your arm around your girl. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Take care of that in a hurry. Uh, can I ask a simple question? Well, go ahead, if it's simple enough. Well, how are we going to gather around the piano when we don't have a piano? Hey, that's right. Can't we borrow one from someplace? What about the piano in the auditorium? Oh, they're using it for the Christmas play. Why don't we rent one? Hey, that sounds like a good idea. How much do you think it'll cost? Well, it can't be too much. All we want it for is one night. Well, why don't we find out about it? Uh, that's a good idea, Dave. Let us know how you make out. <laughs> Dave, I'm sure it was your idea. It was not. Oh, that's right. All those in favor of Dave and Rick finding out about renting a piano, say aye. 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 Thanks a lot. <laughs> See how easy it is? Now, uh, wait a second, you guys. We'll do it on one condition, that the chairman of the committee goes with us. Yay! Now you're talking. Oh, thanks a lot, fellas, but I've got an awful lot of important business to attend to here. Come on, Wally, let's give it another try. On, on second thought, maybe I'd better go along with you, fellas. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Bob. You're getting a very fine piano here, Mrs. Wagner. Well, we've always wanted one. And you'll deliver it tomorrow without fail. Yes, ma'am, you can count on it. Well, thanks for everything. Thank you. And good luck with your lessons, Sonny. Don't forget, practice every day. <laughs> I help you, gentlemen? Uh, yes, sir. We're interested in renting a piano. Well, we have some very nice ones here. How about something like this? Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. How long will you be renting it for? 
Oh, uh, just one night. We're having a party at the fraternity house. Party at the fraternity house? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's our annual Christmas blast. <laughs> see. Well, uh, maybe you'd like this one better. This one over here. Well, I like that one. Very sturdy. Well put together. Well, uh, what about the other one? Actually, these older pianos have a much better tone. How much would it be for one night? I think we can let you have this one for $10. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. You understand the rental's payable in advance. Oh, of okay. course. Can you step this way, please? Hey, wait a second, fellas. Do we have $10? Hey, I've got six. Now, I've got three. Have you got a buck? I've got 50, 75, and two poker chips. Here's the rest. Uh, here you are, sir. $10. Is that right? Well, yes, that's for the rental. There'll be a hauling charge, of course. A hauling charge? Yes. It costs $15 to take it out there. Oh, gee, that'll be $25. Plus another 15 to bring it back. Well, that's a little bit more than we counted on. I'm sorry, that's a standard charge. Well, uh, maybe we better think it over a little. Uh, what do you say, Wallace? Well, to be honest with you, that's more than we were going to spend for the entire party. <laughs> I wish I could do better, but I'm afraid I can't, fellas. Oh, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Call again. Oh, Wally? Uh, yeah? The money? Oh, well, that's right. Some of that was yours, wasn't it? <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> and the poker chips. I may want to get back in the game. <laughs> Rick? What about Sue Collins? Oh, uh, what about her? Well, you used to go with her, didn't you? Well, so what? Well, she's got a piano. Maybe we could borrow hers. Well, as you said, I used to go with her. I haven't been out with her in about six months. Why don't you call her up and invite her to the party? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. I just call her up and say, Hi, Sue, how would you like to come to the Christmas party and bring your piano? <laughs> say, there's something here I think might interest you guys. What's that, Mom? Well, there's an ad in the paper for a piano for sale. <laughs> we can't even afford to rent one. How could we buy one? Well, this is a used piano. It's owned by a private party. It only costs $40. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, and instead of having it for just one night, we'd have it there all the time. Sure, I think it sounds good. It'd be perfect if we had the $40. At least we could talk to the guys about it tomorrow. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mom. You betcha, any time. Hey, what about Sally Anderson? Well, uh, does she have a piano? Oh, no, but I sure'd like to take her to the party. <laughs> well, that's all well and good, but according to the last treasurer's report, we only have $25.12 in the treasury. Well, can't we raise the other $15? It, it might be kind of tough around Christmas time. Well, maybe we can get it for less than $40. Well, yeah. After all, that's only the asking price. Maybe if we give them a little sob story, they might come down a little. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, he's right. Here we are, a bunch of hard-working college boys struggling for an education. All we want is a piano to bring a little music into our holiday season. Please, not while I'm eating. <laughs> I guess it's worth a try. Well, maybe he's right. At least we can go over and talk to the people. Well, let's get going. We better take my car. Oh, well, mine's right outside. I know, but mine looks a little hungrier than yours. <laughs> Here, I'll take that, Rick. It's on me today. Hey, thanks, Wally. Oh, that's okay. See, meeting of the piano committee, deductions for refreshments, $1.85. Hey, what do you think you're doing? We're going to need every cent we've got. Oh, okay, if that's the way you want it. You owe 10 cents, you owe 70 cents, and you owe 35 cents. <laughs> you sure this is the right house? Yeah. It's the address in the paper. Remember now, let's not act too anxious. Maybe we can save ourselves a few dollars. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Stevens? Uh, yes. Uh, did you advertise in the paper about a piano for sale? Uh, oh, yes. Don't you come in? Uh, thank you. Charles, these boys are here about the piano. Oh, fine. I'm a Mr. Stevens, and this is Mrs. Stevens. Uh, how do you do? Uh, I'm David Nelson. This is my brother Ricky, and this is Bruce. Oh, how do you do, boys? Uh, uh, won't you sit down? Oh, thank yes, sir. Uh, thank you very uh, much. Would you like some cookies? Oh, uh, no, thanks. Uh, are you sure? I just made them this afternoon. Well, you talked me into it. Uh, me too. Me oh, too. good. I know all boys like cooking. Uh, sit down, sit down. Thank, Thank you. You boys from the college? Uh, yes, sir. We're all members of the same fraternity. Oh, that's nice. Well, here we are. Take just as many as you like. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you. I think I'll leave them here just in case you want some more. Boy, they sure are good. Oh, thank you. Mm, sure are. Well, we always like to have a lot of cookies around during the holidays. When the children were home, I used to make a big bowl of fruit punch every Christmas. 
was darn good, too, wasn't it, Mother? Certainly was. I'll bet it was. Well, the kids always liked it. It was my own recipe. I'd always start out by chilling the punch bowl. And that's very important, you know. Then you take a half a dozen grapefruit. Oh, now, Charles, the boys are here to talk about the piano. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellas, but we don't get young people to talk to very often. Well, here it is. It's a little old, but it's in good condition. It looks very nice. Yeah, it sure does. It's been in the family for years. We don't get much use out of it anymore, and we thought somebody else might enjoy it. Well, we don't have a piano with a fraternity house, so we thought we might try to pick one up, if we could afford it. Hey, you know how it is when you're going to college. Uh, would you like to try it? Oh, uh, Rick's the piano player. Go on, Rick. There's a little something my mother taught me. Oh, that's nice. Pretty cool nowadays, Mother. <laughs> yeah, that was great, Rick. The piano has a real good sound. Well, uh, what do you think, fellas? Well, it's a real nice piano. It's just a question of whether we can afford it or not. You see, we've had quite a few expenses at the fraternity. Oh, uh, just a second, Bruce. Uh, do you mind if we just talk it over for a few minutes? No, not at all. Of course not. Come on, Charles. We'll get them some more cookies. I wish I'd made some punch for the boys. It goes so good with the cookies. What's the matter, Dave? I thought I was going pretty good there. Well, that's just it. There's such nice people, and the piano's worth every bit of $40. We don't have $40. Hours. We only have $25. Well, we ought to be able to raise the rest someplace. It's only $15 more. Well, what are we going to do? Well, why don't we tell them we'll take the piano, and we'll give them the $25 as a deposit, and pay them the rest later? Hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, okay, but I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to get it for a little less. Here we go. Uh, we've talked it over, and, and we've come to a decision. So have we. Tell them, Charles. Well, fellas, we've had this piano for a good number of years, and our little family's gotten a lot of pleasure out of it, so we've decided not to sell it after all. Oh, gee, I I'm sorry. Yeah, we figured it just wouldn't be right to sell it to you boys, so we're going to give it to you. <laughs> oh, gee, that's awfully nice of you, but honestly, we we'd much rather pay for it. No, no, it's all settled. We want you to accept it in the spirit of Christmas. Gee, I, I guess we don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. You see, our family, our children have all grown up and moved away, and it make us happy to know that you boys are enjoying it. Gee, this is awfully nice of you. Uh, I know all the boys at the house will sure appreciate it. Well, have you any way of getting it over to the house? Yes, sir. We have a truck we can borrow. Well, you just drop by any time to pick it up. We're always here. Here are a few more cookies. I thought the boys at the house might like them. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's okay. It's a pleasure. Then we'll see you later this afternoon. Good. Maybe I'll have some of that punch ready. Oh, that's... <laughs> these lights away last year. Probably some graduating senior. And he graduated with honors and not signs. <laughs> hey, Rick, you know there was a lot of old music in here? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess he must have forgotten about it. What do you mean you lost your dog? Hokey pokey diddly rum. And Barney Google with the goo goo googly eyes. You know, they just don't write songs like these anymore. <laughs> Hey, look at these old Christmas carols. They came upon the midnight clear. A death day fidelis. Maybe they'd let us borrow these for the party. We could ask them. Hey, there's an old picture album. Hey, there's Mr. Stevens. Yeah, he hasn't changed much. He was an officer in World War I. Yeah, I guess he did have quite a family. Hey, here's a picture of Mr. Stevens making some punch. But it was the same stuff he was telling us about. You know, I'll bet it does get kind of lonely when the family grows up and moves away. Yeah, I guess it does. You know, Mom and Pop were kidding, but 
we do kind of desert them around Christmas time. Yeah, I guess we do. You know, my mother was complaining about the same thing. Oh, uh, mine too. You know, it, it might be a nice idea if we invited the parents to the Christmas party this year. Oh, come on now, they weren't complaining that much. I don't think it's such a bad idea. I'll bet they'd have a good time once they got over the shock. Uh, you want to take a vote on it? Are you kidding? Who'd vote against Mother and Christmas? <laughs> it's all settled. We'll invite the parents. Good. Fine. Hey, how about asking Mr. and Mrs. Stevens to the party? They were the ones who gave us the idea. And the piano. Yeah, why don't we invite them? Yeah, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Uh, that reminds me, we're going to take this stuff back to them. Uh, Rick? Uh, I've got it right here. Oh, don't forget the cookie tin. Oh, yeah, thanks. And don't forget to get a refill. <laughs> Well, thanks a lot, fellas. It was awfully nice of you to bring these back. It certainly well, was. We thought you might be worried about them. Uh, these Christmas carols are yours, too, but we were wondering if we could borrow them. We could sure use the music for our party. Why, of course. Help yourselves. Return them any time. Oh, thanks a lot. You know, we were also wondering if you'd like to come to our party. It's going to be very informal, and I think you'd have a good time. Well, that's very nice of you, but I really don't think we'd fit in. Oh, well, I don't think you'd feel out of place. Uh, we've invited all the parents. We really appreciate your asking us, boys. Maybe some other time. Yes, thanks a lot. It was very thoughtful of you. Oh, it certainly was. Well, if you change your mind, you're more than welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I, I hope you don't mind, but we just couldn't resist looking at a few of the pictures in your album. Oh, that's okay. You had some good laughs, huh? No, they're very interesting. Looks like you used to have some great times around the holiday season. Oh, we sure did. Yes, we have some wonderful memories, don't we, Mother? We do indeed. Well, I guess we'd better be going. Nice you boys to drop by. Yes, we certainly enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. 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 They sure are nice people, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. I was hoping they'd come to the party. Yeah. Well, I got the feeling they really wanted to, but they thought we invited them just to be polite. Yeah, I think you're right. It's too bad. Well, don't be surprised that they should show up anyway. How do you figure that? Well, I accidentally on purpose forgot the folder with the Christmas carols in it. That should give them a good excuse to come by. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, boys. Yes, ma'am? You forgot the Christmas carols. Oh, well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, may I cut in? Well, I don't know. H have you met this gentleman? Oh, well, it's possible. His face is kind of familiar. <laughs> oh, nice timing, dear. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi. Hello, Rick. Having a good time? Oh, oh yeah. Wonderful. I've almost danced with your mother three times. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely party. I'm so glad you boys invited us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we may even remember you at Christmas after all. Hey, Rick? Oh, hey, excuse me. You gonna have any sandwiches or anything, Dave? Oh, well, I think it's a possibility. I haven't seen Mr. and Mrs. Stevens. Are they here? Well, no, they're not coming. We invited them, but I guess they're afraid they might feel a little out of place or something. That's a shame. I bet they would have had a good time. Yeah, I think so. Attention, everybody. Attention, please. Uh, now, if we'll all gather around the piano, we thought it might be fun to sing some Chris about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Rick. You're elected to play the piano. Well, I'll try. Where's the music? Right here. Here, here. Let's see what we've got. Why don't we start out with something real Christmassy? Here's one. What do you mean you lost your dog? <laughs> Wait a minute. How'd this get in here? Hey, these aren't the Christmas carols. Hey, Mrs. Stevens must have given us the wrong folder. Well, I think I know most of them anyway. Hey, Dave, Rex, there's someone here to see you. Uh, pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Hello, Gee, David. I'm awful glad you could come over. Hello, Rick. Hi. Uh, may I have your attention, everybody? I'd like you to meet the folks who gave us the piano. This is Mr. and Mrs. Stevens. Gee, we're real glad you decided to come to the party. Oh, thank you, but we really can't stay. We're on our way to the movies. We just dropped by to give you the Christmas carols. I must have given you the wrong folder. Oh, thanks. Well, it's awfully nice to have met all you young people. Oh, please don't go. We need somebody to play the piano for the Christmas carol. Oh, hold on now, David. Ricky can play the piano. I heard him. Now, all those in favor of Mr. Stevens accompanying us on the piano, say aye. Aye! All right, you, you talked me into it. Aye. The piano is here. I know, but I can't let the boys down, Mother. <laughs> well, let's see now. Yeah. How about Deck the Halls?
seem to be having a good time. Yeah, I'm sure glad they came. Hey, it's lucky they made a mistake and gave us the wrong music. You know, I've been thinking about that. Do you think it really was a mistake? Well, they were on their way to the movie. With a car full of oranges, lemons, and grapefruit. <laughs> you think we ought to put in some more orange juice, Charlie? Oh, no. I think we ought to put in some more grapefruit juice. More grapefruit juice? Oh, sure. That's what gives it the old zip. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman Then pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man But you can do the job when you're in town Later on, we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face not afraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter Try this and see what you think. Well, <laughs> it's real good, Charlie, but, but don't you think it might have just a little too much grapefruit juice in it? Oh, no. Like I say, that's what gives it the old zip. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell. 